Treasures of the Faith, Part 1, Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. I live in a land where people tend to speak and read exclusively in English. God, though, in his providence, has given me the gift of learning multiple languages. Since some of those languages, such as Latin, Greek, and Italian, were the mother tongues of many of the greatest saints in history, and since I've been granted access to grand libraries and seminary religious life and doctoral studies, I have come across treasures of the faith that seem hidden from or even inaccessible to most of the English-speaking world. This article spearheads my attempt to dig up and to translate some of these treasures of the faith so that more people may use them to grow closer to Christ. In the Latin writings of the great Franciscan saint Bernardine of Siena is found the following gem. I provided first for you the text of Romans chapter 13 verses 10 to 14, then his brief commentary, which I have translated from the original Latin. I hope that it may be as fruitful for your meditation and inspiration as it has been for mine. May God bless you, and let us pray for each other. Romans chapter 13, verses 10 to 14. The love of our neighbor worketh no evil. Love, therefore, is the fulfilling of the law, and that knowing the season that it is now the hour for us to rise from sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we believed. The night is past, and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and impurities, not in contention and envy, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh and its concupiscences. The Commentary of St. Bernardine of Siena We put on, I say, our Lord Jesus Christ, as wool takes on color, as air takes on light, and as iron takes on fire. The wool is dyed on the outside. The air is penetrated through its very interior, but iron is both interiorly and exteriorly transformed, as it were, into the very nature of fire. Show forth the color of Christ in your conversation, the light of Christ in your knowledge of the faith but the fire of Christ in your love. For as iron placed in the fire more truly becomes fire than merely something on fire, in the same way men on fire with charity, rather than being seen as putting it on, or being imbued with it, or even as being enkindled with it, to speak emphatically, are rather seen to be charity. This is Stephen from Corfidelis.com.